I'm Mike Haterberg. I'm the Assistant Chief Engineer for the U.S. for the Family Zero engines, which are the 1.4 liter engines that go in the Chevy Cruze and in the um, Chevrolet Volt. This is the uh, 1.4 liter turbo engine, which is uh, going to be available in the Chevrolet Cruze. It's uh, one of a family of engines we call the Family Zero. Um, several displacements that are sold throughout the world. For the U.S. markets, we have a 1.4 liter that powers the Chevrolet Volt when it's uh, in the extended range mode. And then we have the 1.4 liter turbo version for the Chevrolet Cruze. Um, it, it's a dual overhead cam. It has all the latest technology. It's dual phasers, both intake and exhaust. It's got port fuel injection. Probably the thing that makes the Cruze uh, the most unique is it's turbocharged. It's a 1.4 liter engine so that we get the fuel efficiency of a small engine, yet we've got it turbocharged so we can have the, the good torque and, and power numbers. It's estimated to be 138 horsepower and 148 foot-pounds of torque. And that, that torque comes on really low with the automatic peak torque is below 2,000 RPM, so it gives excellent drivability. Often get the performance right off the line. Yeah, it gives you performance right off the line. Ex excellent performance in, a, in what's going to be classified as a mid-sized car. Um, from a reliability perspective, I can point out some of the things on the engine. It has chain drive for the valve train, so it's maintenance free for the life of the vehicle. Never anything to adjust. It's got, for uh, fuel efficiency, another one of the features it has is a variable displacement oil pump. So we can tailor the, the amount of oil that the, uh, that's being pumped by the engine based on what the engine needs. So we can protect the engine at high speeds with the oil that it needs, get it idle and at low speeds. We can, um, can back off on that flow and get the fuel efficiency. It's also got something else unique for, uh, for fuel economy and that's its electronically controlled thermostat. So at light load conditions, we run the engine warmer. So we get the uh, benefits of uh, improved um, mechanical efficiency of the higher temperatures. Yet when you want the thermal efficiency at high loads, we lower the temperature of the engine. Um, just kind of walking through it, we have uh, an integral aluminum front cover that encompasses the water pump, encompasses part of the, the cam phaser solenoids or the, the continuous variable valve timing. It's got the oil pump, the, uh, the variable displacement oil pump that I mentioned. On this side, it's kind of the heart of the 1.4 turbo, the turbocharger itself has an integrated exhaust manifold made of uh, high alloy material for durability. It's integrated so that we can minimize the turbo lag of the engine. Um, turbos tend to be associated with a lag between the time you step on the gas and the vehicle starts moving and the engine revs. By minimizing that volume, we were able to minimize that, that lag time. We've also sized the turbo really for efficiency. So it's a, it's a relatively small turbo. That also helps uh, minimize the lag, so it makes it just drive like a bigger displacement engine than it really is. Um, it, it's intercooled. We can't see that in this in, in the engine. It, it's intercooled in the vehicle. It's an air-to-air -air intercooler after you come out of the turbocharger to, to bring the air back down to a, a nice temperature to feed the engine. Uh, other, other features over here I can point out. We've got an integrated oil filter and engine oil cooler. Keeping the oil and keeping the engine cool is, uh, is critical to the life, so we have an integral cooler. We also have an oil-fed turbo with additional water cooling, so uh, and actually this cooling continues even actually after the vehicle shut off. So for the life of the turbo and longevity, we've got both uh, oil-fed and water cooled. The valve train is a, uh, we call it a roller finger follower design, it's, it's optimized for friction and it's maintenance free, there's no lash adjusters, it's all hydraulic, so there, again, there's no maintenance through the life of the vehicle. It has coil per plug ignition, it has um, long life spark plugs, again, uh, designed to last 100,000 miles. 100,000 miles between spark plugs? For, for spark plugs, yeah. And, and what about oil changes? O oil changes, we use the, the GM oil, or the Chevrolet oil life system, so your, your mileage will vary depending on your, your driving, but um, yeah, it's basically optimized. I don't want to give a prediction, but it's optimized based on the way you drive. So if you drive a lot of steady state driving in moderate temperatures, you'll get you know extended oil life and you'll, you'll really maximize um, the, the life of the oil. So you won't be throwing away good oil, you know, environmentally and, and financially, but yet you'll, you won't uh, run the risk of damaging your engine. So, so where's the 
the, the future potential for, for horsepower and for, for more fuel efficiency right so the, in the aftermarket? Yeah. For, 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 for yeah, I don't know if I want to speculate on that. I mean, obviously, boost is what people normally do to turbos, yeah. but um, right now we're not really talking about aftermarket, what we do. Right now it's really been optimized for fuel economy and the performance goals that we wanted in the vehicle. But when it, when it lands over there in the RS, Kids are going to tweak it up a little bit. I'm, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. So, yeah, I don't want to speculate on that, but there's always room on a turbo. Good, good stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you.